at the LSAT is obviously um, one thing that for most students will be required. Um, there are some schools that are offering an option not to have an LSAT, um, but they're usually requiring another test and as well as some of those schools are requiring enrollment in one of their joint degree programs. So I encourage you to, to look at schools individually in that area, but the vast majority of us are still requiring the LSAT. In addition to that, um, you typically have to have a bachelor's degree completed. The bachelor's degree can be in any area, so it doesn't have to be in a typical pre-law or political science type of major. Um, we have a wide variety of students' um, backgrounds, majors that they come into with undergrad. So um, I tell our students not to feel at a disadvantage if they haven't pursued the typical undergraduate path for pre-law. Um, we have students coming in with every major and, and have found um, that students can do very well in law school regardless of their undergraduate major. But your LSAT score and your grades are certainly going to be important components of the review process for an admissions committee. Um, they'll not only be important for admissions, but also for competitiveness for merit-based scholarships. Most of us um, will take the higher LSAT score if you do take the test more than once. And I encourage you to talk with the admission officers at the schools you're looking at if you need advice on um, whether or not taking the LSAT a second time is something that you should consider. Um, we're happy to, to have those conversations with you. Um, here at Drake, for example, over 75% of our entering students um, have qualified for scholarships in recent years. And so sometimes, the retaking the test can not only be something that could help a student with admission, but also their eligibility for scholarship assistance. And so um, those are the types of conversations that the admissions staff are typically happy to have with students in, in helping to discuss that and determine whether or not retaking the test would be a value for you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.